Good afternoon. Our first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is the Imam Mohammed Sahil Ashbak from Black Hole Mosque in Edinburgh. In the name of God, the most merciful, the most kind. Respected presiding officer, dear members of our Scottish Parliament, good afternoon, peace be upon you. As the sun soon sets in a few days on another Islamic year, I am sure you will agree that there is so much to be satisfied and thankful about. Each of us, indeed in our roles of responsibility, have been able to contribute in many ways to ensure a better life for those who we are responsible for. And I'm sure we look forward to the coming Islamic year with hope to do more. I myself try to learn lessons from those who came before us so that their lives can inspire me to much more. And this is something I would like to share with you. Over the last year, I have been reading up on the life of a man who lived nearly 1400 years ago. A man who after the demise of our prophet, peace be upon him, and the first caliph, when given the responsibility of leading his people, gave them hope with his endless commitment. In his life, I found many lessons that I have, I have been able to implement. This man was Umar ibn Khattab. May God be pleased with him. To be close to the poor, Umar lived in a simple mud hut, even without doors. He walked the streets every evening to ensure the safety of his community. After consulting with the poor, Umar established the first welfare state, Beitul Mal. It aided the poor, needy, elderly, orphans, widows, and the disabled. Umar anhu also introduced child benefit and pensions for the children and the elderly. He was indeed a person who listened to his community and was never afraid to make changes to benefit them. Umar's inspiration was a, was a close friend, the first caliph. I remember a story that I feel had a profound effect on him and probably inspired him to go on and do so much more. It was after the demise of the first caliph that Umar anhu decided to take care of those that the caliph used to look after personally. One morning, he went to the house of one of those poor elderly widowed women. He made her breakfast and placed the food in front of her. What the lady said was something that astonished Umar. She said, it seems that the person who took care of me has left this world because he would lift the morsels of food to my mouth due to myself being blind. Indeed, stories like this, these have inspired myself as well. And I have been able to help the less fortunate here in my community and also around the world over the last year. I pray that this coming year is more prosperous and more beneficial for us and our communities. May our Lord give us all the strength to keep doing the good that we are. Amen. Thank you.